we just found out three years ago that uh, we had Houston toads. We didn't know it was critical habitat for the endangered species Houston toad. As a matter of fact, it was kind of a shock to us. The survey showed that we had 25 calling toads at night, which is the largest population in the county. You hardly see them. It's usually in the dark of this thing with a spotlight on it because they, they're nocturnal and they're not easily found. We've been working on this safe harbor agreement two years, and today is, I guess, the official date of signing. And, uh, you know, I'm, so far I'm happy. I wanted to welcome you all here. We've been working with the Long family for the last couple of years to put together this safe harbor agreement that we're celebrating today. Safe Harbor is a regulatory program that the Fish and Wildlife Service administers, but it's one that gives incentives to landowners, primarily and principally regulatory flexibility. We're delighted to be partners with the Long family and we are really applauding what they've done on their property here and we think this is a terrific mark of things to come. Environmental Defense came in and they basically brokered this deal. I think Environmental Defense has done a great job with allowing property owners to set forth ideas and give suggestions because they're the ones out on the property. They're with these toads every day. Look at that fish coming across there. Yeah. I'm not an expert environmentally, nor am I a scientist, but I do love the land and uh, I don't mind uh, sharing it with the toad. But we've had some good rains. It's good toad weather. Actually, we've done very little except we fenced the pond Get the tail end, we'll hook up the electric fence. Look, 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 look. Come on, cow. Woo! Woo! And we kept the cattle out during breeding season. And we've cut back on our herd voluntarily from about 50 cows to 30 cows for that acreage. That's the first step. When you have folks that are willing to sit across a table, such as ED, I mean, anything can happen when people are willing to communicate and work together. This is my land, it's my heritage. I, when I'm gone, I want my children to be able to do what they want to do. But they're willing to work with some toads and some people that are reasonable and not confrontational and argumentative. Key is attitude, and it's changed. 